Good afternoon. You're here with me and Lydia today. So, their bar needs decorating for Christmas. Mm -hmm. So, I thought I'd make a vlog on it as well because you guys like that stuff and I do as well. And if you notice, got my Christmas earrings in from Acrylic Addict on Instagram. Very nice, they are too. I've got bigger pair and a big red bow pair. Ooh. I know, so really excited with the big red bow pair for Christmas. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Last Year Fairies, the Chinese supermarket in there. Go there first and facing the Chinese supermarket, there's another little shop that sells beautiful decorations. But we're going to try and go not too extravagant for now because we don't know how it's going to work. I've got a few ideas and Lisa's going to come and help with the colour scheme, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, and pick out what's mooch. best. Yeah. And then see what we can do, what we can um, add to the bar for Christmas try and get as many lights up as possible <laughs> you know i love me lights from space <laughs> yeah so we're going to do that today um yeah let's see what decorations we get hold of yes. what we can do with the space and what we can get from the charity supermarket to hang them up with as well because obviously yeah we need stuff to hang them up with i have got a few ideas and i'm excited to have a look see if i can get them materialize that's the word see yes. if i can materialize the ideas so yes. we're going to head on down there now <clears throat> and have a look and you can join us yes take you with us finally here after 45 minutes <laughs> the traffic going up north this time of day in the winter is just horrendous and i completely forgot because i've not driven this time of day in a long time i've been in, in the bar but we're finally here we're rested well my poor little clutch leg isn't <laughs> <laughs> so we're finally here we're going to go in so um we're going to the chinese supermarket but we were talking about dreamland just here they do lovely decorations we brought a fair few for our house from here so uh, we'll have a look in there seconds however we'll probably just stick with the chinese supermarket because look at those i mean you're cutting out most of this in the bar but it is super cute so it's all very, really, very really nice. So, oh, you can get a Christmas outfit. Ooh, yeah, oh, yeah. get a little fake fire. I mean, it's not worth getting a tiny little tree like this, but at least we know we've got them. So we go and have a look, see what we can find. And here we are, Santa's little grotto. There's some absolute beautiful stuff here. Some gorgeous stuff. I mean, imagine him on your front doorstep. Look at him. So really really nice that's a lovely little piece that couldn't have it again i'd have one of those outside my front door though love that just look at that gorgeous tree with all the lights in it i love these little teddy bears they are so cute so a lot of these trees now again that one come with lights in them, nice decorating lights, look at those, they're all in the trees as well, really, really pretty. So I was thinking about one of these for the roof terrace, for outside the roof terrace, so you've got two Santas climbing up a ladder, I think that'd be super cute for outside. So I've just seen these for New Year's Eve, I think I might get me and the two staff one, although I think Mikael will drip it off in about half an hour, but I think I might get three of them. So that we can wear them on New Year's Eve, nice and festive. I think they're really, really cute. So I've seen this, but not for the bar. Oh, hang on, let me see if I can show you it properly. That is absolutely gorgeous. I might just buy that just for the house. I think I might do, because it's not too bad. It's 20 euros, and it's really, really pretty. We've gone for six of these to go on the top of the bar, wrapped in tinsel, green tinsel. I think that'd be really, really pretty. We can open them out, obviously, and fix them. So I've gone for these. They're really nice. And for this tinsel, because it'll go nice with that, wrapped around all those. Quite muted. I didn't want too shiny. But that looks really nice. That's going to look really nice. Hopefully, if we can pull it off. I mean, the basket's already pretty full. We're not even near done yet. Oh, my God. I want a tree full of these decorations. I've got them in a slightly different colour as well. <gasps> Just imagine how pretty they would look on a tree. Gorgeous decorations. However, we can't have balls in here, um, ball ones, because they just get dropped and smashed. Oh, does it homemade ones as well? 
these are great in the boxes as gifts for people. Because they've all got a theme. Oh, they're gorgeous. They've all got a theme and they're really good. Little gifts for people. I want a bunch of these little white squirrels. I've got nowhere to put them, but oh, so cute. I just love how every year you can find something different. Your change of taste. Ta um, your, your taste changes. And then you'll come up with all new ones every year. I mean, there's some absolutely stunning ones. Can't have them in the house or at the bar, but some really nice things going on. You could really do a lot with it, everything. So these are the type of decorations we're looking for. Nice and flat and simple, just so that we can hang them on, put them on the flat wall and have them looking nice. So Lid has already chosen a couple that she likes. Let's have a look. She loves the little trees. We've got, love that one. We've got these little cute ones back here. So we're gonna see what else we've got, see what we can find and see how we can decorate our little tree. Definitely getting these two because these are beautiful and flat. So definitely getting these two. And for these two as well, these will look nice on the wall, just nice and simple. And classy, so I think the tree's going to be wooden themed, sort of, but with glitter on it. I think that's what I'm going for. And we're definitely getting two of these because these will match with the bar on top. These are absolutely gorgeous. I love these. So we've scrapped the other decorations, and this is what we're going for sort of candy cane feels. I think they're adorable. I think they're really, really nice. I think that's what we're going to go for. And then we'll see what else we can find for the back wall. So after much deliberation, we've gone for these string lights, LED, 400 lights, 40 meters, cool lights. I think that'd be nice in the bar, cool lights. Yeah, I think that'd be really cute with the red um, candy cane thing we've got going on. And then the last thing we need is a little tree topper. So we're going to find just a little simple one, I think, like a snowflake or something, just so you can stick it on easily yeah, yeah. without like messing around. There, that end. Yeah, we're going to have a look now. We are done for the decorations. We've got lots of lights, lots of tinsel, lots of decorations. We've got poinsettias. We're going to see what we can do with those. We do like poinsettias. We've got everything we need, I think. If not, we can always come back for more because there is absolutely tons of stuff. And don't forget this shop for like your Christmas bags and stuff and like Christmas boxes, things like that, like you can give to people as gifts. I mean, there's so many different types, varieties, sizes, everything. So, I mean, you could really have a lot of fun with it. There's even animal ones down there. So don't forget this shop for your Christmas decorations and your Christmas needs because you just never know what you'll get. So all that was only 172 euros. We haven't got the um, clips in that yet because we've got to go next door. But that's, for me, I found that quite reasonable for how much stuff we've got, how cute it is. We've got lights, lots of tinsel, some decorations, everything like that. So not bad prices, really. So I'm fairly happy with that. We're just going to load this into the car and then go back in because you can't take bags in and stuff with you. So we're going to do that now. And then we're going to um, find the important stuff to hang it all up with zip ties, stuff like that, the little hook thing. I don't know what they're called. Little hooks I can just take off the wall without ruining the wall. So we're going to do all that. And then we're done the Christmas shopping. Then we just need to decorate the um, the bar, which I'm really excited about. So I'm really excited for it to be all Christmassy. So now that winter's on its way and we've got that um, rooftop, we've just bought a couple of blankets. These are in lovely colour and a box to put them in so you guys have no fear you'll still stay warm even if you're on the rooftop so when i'm in a bar and i'm on a rooftop it's chilly a blanket always helps always makes you feel better always makes you feel snugly and cozy and i want you guys to be snugly and cozy with me so there you go them and that nice little tub to put it in put them in so that'd be nice nice on the um, rooftop terrace out the way so yeah happy with that those we've got also got all the um stuff that we needed zip ties everything like that so we're good now i think we're all done i think we're all done for this part of the vlog 
The next part will be decorating the bar. I'm excited for that one. That's going to be the fun part. That's what I'm really excited for. However, I think I'm going to get stressed. But we'll put that up and I'll show Andrew all the decorations and everything like It's the next day. Sorry, I left on a bit of a cliffhanger. I've just got up, got a wash. So now I'm going to head down to the bar. Well, I'm going to collect everything from Paul and Lydia's apartment. I'm going to collect everything from the, there, go down to the bar, have a coffee first because I cannot survive without my coffee. Then we're going to decorate the bar. I'm really excited. We've got loads of extra stuff like mops, buckets. Um, we needed to get little small blankets for you guys like we've got. So everything like that needs to be placed out for you um, and for me as well. So I'm really excited for that. The bar's going to be super cute. Andrew did mention about the railings up the stairs. And I was like, oh, God, I forgot about those. But then I was like, I think we're going to leave those bare just because people need to use their handle. And I don't want to put anything where people need to use and have something to slip on. So we're not going to do those. So I've got to think about safety as well when I'm decorating. I've got to think about safety, got to think about practicality, everything like that. So, and I've got no room for a big Christmas tree, otherwise I get a big Christmas tree, just go nuts on the cheap decorations and the lights, but I can't. So I've got to be really inventive. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm really excited for that. So um, come with us for some coffee. And just like that, we're here at Neighbours. So me and Lizzie are going to get a quick coffee and then we're going to get started on everything. I'm really excited. I don't know how many more times I can say that. But, you know, I do love Christmas, you know, me and Christmas. So I'm looking forward to having a place Christmassy. Got it all organised. Decorations there. We just can organise these on the top of the spa. So they're going to go there and on the other side. And then put some tinsel in. But yeah, that's exactly what I'm aiming for. That look. Yeah, with tinsel. That's nice. So I think we might need to cut the ends off a tiny bit. I don't know whether we'll be able to. So we'll have a look, see what we can do. So this is this bit up. We were going to put tinsel on there, but we think that's going to put a big red bow there to hide the cable ties. But that's quite pretty, just understated. Nice and pretty, just looks quite nice. So we'll put a big red bow there and then leave it as is. So for this wall, we're going to do lights going across and down and down to the bottom and then they're going to plug in here. I don't know how it's going to work out, I don't know how it's going to look, but we're going to try. That's all we can do is try. So we've got, we might need some more of these. So we might end up going and getting some more. But for now, it's going well. It's a bit wonky, but you know, it's Christmas. We're all going to be drunk, it's fine. So here is the tree. I mean, not the best, but like I said, it's a drunken tree and we're all going to be drunk with it. So I'm not bothered. I mean, I'm not going to lie. This was a nightmare. This wall is not made to have anything on it. So I'm going to have to, when I take these off, I'm going to have to fill in the holes and repaint the wall because it's just how a wall can't handle some sticky pads. I'll never know. But it's up there. Hopefully it'll stay up there for the Christmas. It looks quite cute actually that's i'm quite happy with how that that's been done i'm quite happy with how simple it is but it's just nice and you can see it's christmas it's quite nice and then just a simple decorations up here really really nice because we can't do too much in this because it is quite small i am really conscious about making sure everything's really kept safe kept safe and clean for everyone coming in to have a drink i really want to make sure that you guys don't get any handle rails hindered or anything like that so i just want to make sure that everything's safe for you as well we decided not to put the decorations on the tree because we just tattered it up so i've got a bunch of decorations i don't know where i'm going to put them but it still looks nice it still looks beautiful it's simple so i'm quite happy we're going to go upstairs see what we can do upstairs because we've got loads of red tinsel 
and we got battery powered lights so they could go upstairs and um, maybe have it like that, lights on the balustrade upstairs, that might be nice. So we'll see what we can do with it, that now and see how we can go. So this is what we decided to do up here, red tinsel on this and dangly down lights. These are battery powered. So they go down there, battery powered nice and easy. We've got Santa climbing up there. So it's gonna look lovely of a night once it's all, the lights are all on and stuffed. It's nice and simple, not on too major and quite cute. So we've managed to get just about enough of everything and do everything really nice. So I'm quite happy with what's gone on today. It's gonna to look lovely. Going to bars open, everyone's drinking and having a nice time. It's gonna be really nice. I'm quite proud of it actually. How are you? Yeah, pleased. We've worked Very hard, pleased. haven't we? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we've done but well. We've got everything, just the right amount of everything. Yeah, we've done really well, haven't yeah. we? Yeah, quite happy. So that's the bar done for Christmas. And now all I need to do is make some Christmas cocktails. So me and Mikkel are going to do that. We're going to decide on some Christmas cocktails for all of us. And then we'll start putting them on. Yes, well, we need to tidy up. Yeah, we need to tidy up, yeah. <laughs> Place is a mess, yeah. So that was it from the outside, just nice and simple and festive and nice. The whole bar is just simple, clean, nice, festive, exactly what I wanted. So thank you very much for joining us. I hope you like the decorations just as much as me. And um, see you next time. Bye guys.